website for sale make $500 a week and it's only $148, I think I hit the jackpot. Earn $100 per sale. Web hosting review website. ClickBank affiliate store for just $11 guaranteed income. $500 a week and they give me free meta tags. So I did a little digging and I found out things aren't always what they seem. Take, for example, this audio. Yep, I'm doing this here in my office. It's not actually me live out there. And in this video, I'm going to expose some of the shady, downright scammy tactics people are using to sell websites to would-be moneymakers. This is going to be very important, even if you think you know how web businesses work, because it's going to show you seven different ways to gauge whether a website is worth buying or not. 100% automated money-making website for less than $100? And to make this kind of fun, go ahead and put a comment below of which website you think I should buy. And I'm going to buy one of these and make a part two of this video to show you how it works out. Now, this first one is surprisingly one of the more honest ones. And we'll use honest rather loosely here. This is a site about web hosting that says we can earn $100 per sale. Now, I went on and read the description, and they said, okay, you can get $100 commission on web hosting. They never tell you how you're going to get traffic or anything like that. Now, I went ahead and took a look at the website and looked at the reviews and everything, and the reviews look pretty good. So for $150, this might not be a bad deal. Upon digging a little bit deeper, I actually found the website, and I looked at one of the little quotes on the bottom of the website. This is actually pretty important because usually they duplicate this kind of stuff. And I actually put this entire block of text into Google and found out there's actually quite a few websites out there that are the exact same website selling this exact same web hosting thing. So it's going to be kind of difficult. Now, are they going to give you a website designed to sell web hosting? Yes, they are. You're going to have to put your links and everything in there. And then the hard part is you're going to have to get traffic. And since this site is set up to get web hosting traffic, it's going to be extremely difficult because the competition on this type of traffic is ridiculous. And we could see here that by looking up the actual website in the Ahrefs keyword tool, there are no keywords that this site ranks for. So you're just going to get a glorified website with no way to get traffic. And even if you could get traffic, it's going to be too competitive. As you can see here, the word web hosting is very, very difficult, saying it's super hard to get traffic for. And you can see that the cost per click is ridiculous, weighing in at $20, $25 a click or more. And the competition just keeps us out of this market entirely, which means it's going to be very difficult to make money with a website like this. And you're going to end up paying $150 for something you'll probably never use. And all you're really getting is a glorified cookie cutter website that they push a button and customize it for you in seconds. Nothing of real value there, although they do have the claim that you can make a bunch of money with it, which lures in the unexpected would-be buyer. Now let's go on to number two. Number two is a website that can make you $500 a week. And it says it's only like $20 to buy this thing, actually $19.95. Now, what is the website? Well, the website, upon looking deeper, is a website designed to sell visitors to other websites. Yep, it's one of those crap visitor farms where you could get a thousand website visitors for 20 bucks or something like that. Now, the idea is that you buy into the business, they make you a website, you get customers, and then you actually buy the products or services from the guy that you bought the website for. So he's gonna sell those junky visitors to your customers, you're gonna keep a cut of the money, and everyone's gonna be happy, or so it would seem, except for the guy who purchased the visitors and ended up getting a bunch of junk traffic. That guy's not gonna be very happy at all. So can you make $500 a week doing this kind of stuff? Well, yes, if you're ethically inclined to do so, and if you sell a bunch of new unsuspecting customers, but at the end of the day, you're not providing real value. So this business <laughs> is a dud. 
Now, number three is one of the more pricey ones, weighing in at almost $500. This says that you're going to get a site fully stocked that you can make money with Amazon affiliate marketing. Now, as we know, the Amazon affiliate program doesn't pay very much, so you're going to need a lot of traffic to make this work. And you might be saying, well, no problem. This site has thousands and thousands of different items on it. Well, you got to be careful with that because when you have thousands and thousands of cookie cutter items on a cookie cutter website, you're not going to get very much traffic because you're spread all over the place. You'd actually do a lot better with a niche Amazon store, but most people don't know this. And lots of my students come to me after buying sites like this practically in tears because they can't make it work and they don't know why. And the reason why is because, as old Tommy Boy said, they knew all they sold you was a guaranteed piece of shit. And that's exactly what these websites are, is cookie cutter websites with lots of products to show you, hey, you're getting a great deal. But if the great deal never pans out getting you anything in return, then how great of a deal is it really? And after looking up some of the sites that they provide, it's not that great a quality. It's all just automated junk where you pop in your affiliate links and it's kind of a pain in the butt. And again, as you can see, there's no real search engine results, which means you're not going to get any traffic, at least for free anyway. And even if you did buy paid traffic, you're not going to make anything with this type of site and the commissions offered. So in all likelihood, number three is going to be a waste of about 500 bucks. And it looks like this guy's kind of doing the same thing with everything, where he says, I got one of a kind website business for sale, but this one of a kind is just like this one of a kind. And this one of a kind. How many one of a kinds can there be? Well, last I checked, there was only supposed to be one. So this kind of looks like a dud. Although to the untrained eye, it might look like a great opportunity. They're claiming the best business opportunity of 2020 and 2021. But I'll let you be the judge. And number four is a survival website that's only a hundred bucks. I mean, a hundred bucks, that's not much to risk. Let's see what we're getting for our hundred bucks. Automated content updated daily through the plugins. Yep, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we call content curation, where there's a software on your site that goes and curates content from other websites in hopes to get traffic to your website. And while these can work if done right, I find it's actually a lot more valuable to your visitor and to your long-term profitability if you create the content yourself or outsource it yourself. Curated content comes with a lot of drawbacks that could get you in trouble with the search engines, and it doesn't really allow you to tackle the keywords you want, which makes things very difficult. And since it looks like he already has the curator on here, let's go ahead and type his domain name into Google and put site colon in front of it to see how many pages Google's actually picked up. And it looks like there's not very many. There's about three, which means Google's not liking this site much at all. And if we go to the search engine rankings again, we could see a big fat goose egg, which just goes to show that these automated types of businesses aren't the greatest thing to get into. And you're going to want to stay tuned for the seven tips on how to buy an existing website or business that's for sale and actually get a good value. Number five is less than $30, and it says it's an auto-posting Amazon affiliate and ClickBank affiliate website to make money online, and they give you 12 months of Google SEO, whatever the hell that means anyway. So let's take a look at what they're offering. All work, setup, and free installation with auto-post. Domain and hosting not included. This is your chance to start earning money by news website that updates itself. Yes, it's fully autopilot. Again, another content curator. Chances are the search engines aren't going to pick this one up either, and you're going to waste your 30 bucks. So as you can see, there's a lot of junk and BS out there in the whole make money online, get paid guaranteed world, and a lot of it is just complete and utter BS. So now I'd like to take you through my seven ways to know if buying a website or business is good. Number one, you want to make sure that you understand the value that you're getting for your money. 
Are they giving you traffic? Are they giving you a niche idea? Is the domain worth anything? You can use tools like the GoDaddy Domain Appraisal Tool or any domain appraisal tool to find out what a domain is worth. You can also take a look and see if they're doing auto-generated content, duplicated content, or what the actual value they're giving you is. Dropshipping, 40 bucks? Fully automated travel website, $50? Nine times out of 10, these things are just auto-generated, replicated BS that will never make you a dime. Number two, are there any BS guarantees that can't be met? Seriously, do you think you're gonna make $500 a week guaranteed for life with a simple $19 website? Yeah, probably not unless you do a hell of a lot of work. And even if you do the work, is the site set up so that you can actually turn a profit? And what is it you're going to do to get paid? How are you getting paid? A lot of times these are really shady and they don't really tell you how you're going to get paid. They're just selling you the promise of making $500 a week without being able to back it up with a claim. And always be careful of a guarantee because if anyone ever guarantees you a monetary amount, whether it's five cents or $5 million, you need to run really far away because that goes against the FTC's terms and conditions about what you can promise on your website. You can never guarantee any anyone will make anything because that's just not practical and it's not allowed legally. 10,000 real high quality organic visitors to my website for $5? Number three, is there any traffic? If I'm buying a site, I need to know if there's traffic. I want to use tools like Alexa, Ahrefs or any keyword tool to see what these sites are ranking for. We want to do our homework and sometimes we can find a diamond in the rough, but it's really rare and it's probably not going to be like 20 bucks or 100 bucks. It'll probably be a lot more. Now, that's not to say that you can't go on Flippa or other sites and buy websites that have undervalued traffic. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, there are a lot of sites out there that don't know the value of the traffic. And if you can find the value of the traffic using your keyword tools and put something in front of that traffic that's going to make money, then it can be worth it. But none of the examples that I showed you in this video actually get any traffic. So there's not going to be a diamond in the rough if there's no rough to begin with. Business directory for sale? Profitable website? Number four. Am I buying some replicated BS? What we want to do here is want to find something that looks good. We want to find something unique on the page that they're selling us. Take a look at the example websites. Do like I did. Take a paragraph of the text at the bottom and search for that in Google in quotes. And you'll actually find other sites. Wow that have the same exact text showing you that what you're buying isn't really that unique. And Googling different things in quotes is a great way to find duplicate content, to find sites that are replicated, to find BS, and anything like that. You could simply Google it in a matter of seconds and figure that out really quick. And of course, we want to ask ourselves, is this some curated content website that's never going to get any rankings? There's a lot of software out there that pulls content from other websites in the hopes of getting traffic to your website. Nine times out of 10, they don't work. And even if they do work, you got to be very careful with them. Automated premium website with aged domain. And then number five, is the domain worth a damn and can I resell it? What we want to do here is use our domain tools, Alexa, GoDaddy appraisal tool, and any appraisal tool to find out if the domain they're giving us is worth anything. Now, you want to take this with a grain of salt because what the appraisals say it's worth and what you can sell it can be two different things. For example, I had one that was worth $1,300 according to the tools, and I actually sold it for $25,000. Then again, I've had some that are worth $1,800, and I've had a hell of a time trying to sell them, and I'm still stuck with them today. So you want to be careful with that. And number six, we want to ask ourselves what we have to do to make this work. Whenever investing in an internet business, you need to make sure that you know exactly what you need to do. What am I going to do? Am I going to do content writing? Am I going to do sales? Do I have to do social media? How am I going to promote this? And how am I going to get paid? If you do not know the answer to those two questions, do not buy anything. This is what we call in the industry blind copy, where they're selling you something saying what it isn't and what the promise is, but they never actually tell you what the actual thing you're getting is. 
hence the term blind copy. And number seven, we need to ask ourselves when looking to buy these types of businesses or websites, great affiliate income, just $19.99. Would I be better off just starting over? Nine times out of 10, you're going to do better just starting over with a new niche and a new website. Yep, that's the sad fact. Very few people actually want to do the work, but if you're one of those that wants to do the work, you can make this work if you start with the niche and the traffic method first. That's the key to making this work is understanding what the value of traffic is and sending them to something that pays you lots of money. And if you like this video, make sure you subscribe, click the bell, give it a thumbs up, and put a comment in the box of which of these scammy websites you want me to purchase for my next video. And if you're looking for a great way to get started with a site that's already set up for you, check out our offer at highticketniches.com where I find your niche, your domain, put some content on the site, tell you the traffic method, the offers to run, and everything. We literally hold you by the hand and work with you every single week until you start getting results. So check that out at highticketniches.com and watch the next video that's going to pop up around here somewhere.